Hello everyone, welcome to a foreign army in the Philippines. <coughs> Hello everyone, welcome to a foreign army in the Philippines. I'm on my way down to the well. I'm going to get some azola out of it and put in this pond. I've already put some in it. I'll put some more in it. We had a, at some time last night, we had a, a heavy, prolonged rain. Uh, I can tell by what's still draining along this uh, road here and by how uh, deep down uh, the top of the dams are and by how much water is in this next field. Uh, <laughs> I don't see any alfalfa seed floating so I guess theoretically if and when this ever dries up it'll come up there's a lot of water in this next pond go around this way well guys not the best place to leave your shovels see the water uh, came up enough to go over this little spillway and even this area here has water in it so yeah it was a it was a pretty good rain I don't know how long it lasted. I slept through it. Now, I don't know if I'm going to, if my little pole is long enough to reach down in there. I definitely don't want to lose it. Just barely. I don't even know how much I'm going to be able to get out this way. But it'll be something. I'll be able to fill up this whole bucket. So I'm going to use both hands so I don't lose this and uh, try to get this bucket full. Alright, well it was fairly easy to get this bucket full and that will all spread out in there until it's fully covered again. It's pretty, pretty tightly packed over in that corner over there. There's a lot of Zola in this well. As you can see, the water table has dropped, oh, I don't know, uh, maybe three feet from its high point uh, three or four months ago. But it doesn't seem to be falling any more of late, probably because of these heavy rains. So I'm going to go up and throw this in. Alright, well I'm going to just toss this bucket of stuff in there. Set that down right about there. That's too much down there. You, go. you guys will be able to see what I'm doing. Let's 
So there it is. Be happy, Azola. The water it went into is nutritious, and there's nothing to eat it. So I would expect this pond to be pretty much covered within a week. I wish I had duckweed to put in it, I just don't. I've ordered uh, two kilos again online. This is like my fifth attempt to get duckweed. Maybe it'll happen this time. I'm hopeful. I don't know how much water was coming through that pipe uh, because of the heavy rain. Uh, but because this, the level of this water has gone up about eight inches overnight and it took it two days to come up eight inches before, I'm thinking there was a lot of water coming through that pipe. So I'm going to let that water run today. I'll shut it off tonight. I think that'll, that'll be deep enough. It's almost submerged all this grass, even back up to this corner. Uh, that was just set in a little too thick over there. But I'm, I'm just assuming it'll do okay. The Lamotte is growing. Uh, or it was, it was really noticeable yesterday. And I don't see it so much today. But it's not like it's going to disappear. And the rain just might have drove it down. So in about uh, 12 days, I guess, kind of depends on the Le, on the Lamont situation. About you know, 10 to 14 days, let's say, uh, we'll put fish in this. I'm going to go see Jerry uh, today and see if we can make arrangements to and get the fingerlings and we will put those in our new tank up there and in two weeks time we'll put half of them in here thank you everyone please like comment share and subscribe